besides being considered two legends of American basketball. Shaquille O'Neal and LeBron James are two tycoons who have made a lot of money during their careers. But have you ever wondered which of these stars has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a fierce battle between Shaquille O'Neal and LeBron James. So, let's fight! Luxury Transportation Both players don't skimp when it comes to getting around, but who has the most expensive means of transportation? LeBron James, for example, has a Gulfstream G280 jet, a very modern twin-engine executive aircraft. The interior is very luxurious, with two seating areas capable of carrying up to 10 passengers with a lot of comfort. And perhaps one of the reasons the basketball star opts for modern jets is that he has already suffered a huge scare when another aircraft he was using had to make an emergency landing. But luckily everything went well. And to have this jet of his at his disposal, the athlete had to invest a lot of money. According to some sources, James' aircraft is valued at approximately $22 million. Shaquille O'Neal, on the other hand, uses luxury boats, such as the Pershing 72 yacht known as Sensation. The 72-foot-long vessel is perfect for those who like to sail in safety, sophistication, and high performance and is capable of reaching a maximum speed of 40 knots. Inside, the yacht can accommodate up to six passengers in three luxurious cabins, as well as other areas to enjoy the trip in maximum comfort. During his trip on the yacht, Shaquille O'Neal seems to have had a great time, even taking the opportunity to dip in the sea. According to some sources, the charter price of this yacht can cost more than 7,000 euros per day in high season. There is speculation that the tycoon also owns a yacht worth $1.7 million, but there are not many details about the exact model. Throughout his career, O'Neill has also been seen in many models of jets, but the aircraft he owns is a Bombardier Challenger 650. This is a very luxurious executive jet that is 68 feet long and has a maximum range of 4,000 nautical miles. Moving on to the interior of the aircraft, there is an exquisite and spacious 28-foot-long cabin, which has advanced technological features and can comfortably accommodate up to 10 passengers. Shaquille O'Neal's jet also seems to have been customized to suit his tastes, such as the Dunkman logo on the rear. To acquire the aircraft, he had to invest a fair amount of money, as it is valued at around $27 million. And for having more luxurious means of transportation, Shaquille O'Neal wins this round. Point for him! Watches Both stars love collecting watches, but which one invests the most money in this type of accessory? Shaquille O'Neal, for example. To always be well-dressed and elegant, the star has a collection of sophisticated watches, and as he has his line of watches with the Invicta brand, he has been seen wearing many of the company's models, such as Invicta 34464 Shaq for $900 Invicta 33412 Shaq for $960 Invicta 33764 Shaq for $990 Invicta 33768 Shaq for $1.3,000 Invicta 33726 Shack for $1.9,000. Invicta 30842 for $4,000. And an Invicta 33723 N1 Shack for $8,200. Among the other watches in his collection is an Audemars Pichuet Shaquille O'Neal, a special edition model in honor of the player, which currently has an estimated price of $32,000. He has also been seen wearing a Cartier Santos 100 XL, a luxury watch with a diamond dial and rose gold and a crocodile strap, which costs around $35,000. LeBron James, for his part, has high-end watches such as a Rolex Yachtmaster 2 worth $25,000, a Rolex Daydate worth $50,000, a Patek Philippe Nautilus worth $100,000, an Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak Concept Black Panther worth $160,000. A Patek Philippe 6102R worth $300,000. A Richard Mill RM11-03 worth $450,000. A Richard Mill RM11-03 Jean Tote worth $600,000. And even a watch made exclusively for him. We are talking about an Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak Offshore LeBron James that can be found for around $100,000. In other words, LeBron James wins this round, point for him. 
most expensive mansion. When it comes to investing in good properties, both athletes don't skimp. But who has the most luxurious property? The most expensive mansion Shaquille O'Neal has owned in Florida, for example, is located in the Star Island area. It's a 20,000-square-foot Mediterranean-style mega-estate with seven bedrooms and nine stunning bathrooms, as well as a 2.5-acre plot for outdoor entertaining. As reported in the media, he sold the property in 2009 for $16 million, although he initially asked for $35 million. LeBron James, for his part, owns a beautiful 2.5-acre property that is located in Beverly Hills in California. The huge residence of the player can offer all the luxury and refinement one can imagine, possessing its facilities and environments such as tennis court surrounded by green areas, a round swimming pool with a trampoline, besides a cinema room that he seems to like a lot. And to add this property to his real estate portfolio, it was necessary to spend a real fortune. According to media reports, in 2020 he needed to invest about $36.8 million. And for having a much more expensive property, LeBron James wins this round. Point for him. Vehicles Both basketball stars love to enjoy beautiful vehicles, but who has the most luxurious cars in their garage? LeBron James, for example, has owned the following vehicles. A Chevy Camaro worth $50,000. A Chevy Impala 1975 valued at $55,000. A Dodge Challenger SRT worth $60,000. A Kia K900, also worth $60,000. A Hummer H2 worth $70,000. A Mercedes Maybach S600 worth $185,000. A Porsche 911 Turbo S worth $200,000. A Bentley Continental GT worth $250,000. A Ferrari 458 Spider of worth $270,000. A Ferrari 599 Convertible worth $300,000. A Mercedes-Benz Maybach 57S worth $320,000. A Rolls-Royce Phantom worth $400,000. And the most expensive and famous of all, his custom Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. It is a sports supercar capable of reaching impressive speeds, being among the fastest cars in the world. The vehicle has a 770 horsepower engine that accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an unbelievable 2.8 seconds, reaching a top speed of 220 miles per hour. And to acquire this super machine, it may be necessary to cash out the smallest price of $500,000. Shaquille O'Neal, for his part, has been spotted with several motorcycles. Vespa Red $5.6 thousand dollars. A customized chopper trike costing around $10,000. Suzuki Hayabusa for $18,500. Can AM Spider for $20,000. An El Diablo bike worth around $40,000. And even the Tron bike is worth $55,000. When it comes to cars, Shaquille O'Neal has been seen with many types of vehicles, such as Polaris Slingshot $21,400. dollars Mercedes-Benz CL 140 for $22,000. Ford Bronco 225,000. Supersized Polaris Slingshot for $27,000. Smart for 2 for $30,000. Buick LaCrosse for $35,000. Jeep Wrangler $39,000. Vador G35 is valued at around $40,000. BMW i3 for $45,000. Chevrolet G1500 customized for $45,000. Ford F250 at $47,000. Ford F350 at $50,000. Vanderhall Venice Roadster $50,000. Nikola Badger for $60,000. Customized Ford F150 $70,000. Rivian or 1T for $75,000. Cadillac Escalade for $79,000. Customized Mercedes-Benz Sprinter $80,000 Ferrari 456 for $80,000 Dodge Challenger Convertible for $82,000 Customized Cadillac Eldorado for $85,000 Dodge Challenger Hellcat for $86,000 Hummer H2 is valued at over $100,000 Ford Shelby GT500 for $102,000 Tesla Model S for $110,000 Ford F650 valued at $120,000. Cadillac DTS Shackalack for $120,000.
Ferrari 355 Spider for $130,000. Mercedes-Benz S550 Convertible for $140,000. Lamborghini Gallardo for $190,000. Rolls-Royce Ghost for $340,000. And a $360,000 Bentley Azure. Among the most expensive cars in his collection is a customized Rolls-Royce Cullinan, considered a super-luxury SUV from the famous Rolls-Royce luxury car brand. The interior of the vehicle is very sophisticated, offering plenty of space for the comfort of its passengers. And to enjoy all this luxury, it is estimated that this vehicle can cost up to $380,000. Raising the price is a Rolls-Royce Phantom, a super-elegant large sedan for those who like imposing cars. The interior of the vehicle is impeccably finished, with top-of-the-range materials that bring a lot of sophistication to the environment. And to own such a car, you may have to shell out more than $450,000. And according to some sources, he gave LeBron James a similar model worth $400,000. Shaquille O'Neal has also been snapped with a Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead, a stunning convertible car made for true tycoons. The interior of the car is superbly finished, which is to be expected when it comes to a vehicle like this. And to enjoy all this luxury, you have to spend a lot of money, as the car O'Neill was seen in is worth around $490,000. In addition to these vehicles, it is speculated that he has several other cars in his collection, such as three Bentleys that he bought at once. When you add up the prices of the vehicles, O'Neill wins this round. Point for him! Other Properties both players don't skimp on comfort when it comes to buying a good home, but who has the more impressive real estate portfolio? Among the properties once owned by O'Neill are a 3,900-square-foot house in Mount Dora, north of Orlando. With five bedrooms and four bathrooms, the house was sold in 2014 for $240,000. In California, Shaquille O'Neal had a beautiful property in a gated community in the Bell Canyon region. Built in 1990, the cleanly designed house has 5,200 square feet of living space, offering plenty of amenities for a big basketball star like O'Neal to enjoy. In total, the property has five cozy bedrooms and five luxurious bathrooms, as well as plenty of outdoor space to enjoy thanks to the one-acre plot. According to the media, the former player sold this property in 2021 for $1.850 million. Another property he owned in California is a mansion in Beverly Hills, in the exclusive and coveted Mulholland Estates area. The contemporary-style property covers more than 13,000 square feet and has cozy yet sophisticated rooms. Among the main luxuries of the place are exquisite living rooms, formal dining areas, a wood-paneled kitchen, a music production studio, a very modern home theater, a well-equipped residential gym, a games room with a built-in bar, and plenty of outdoor spaces to relax and have fun, such as a basketball court. On top of all this, there are seven bedrooms and eight lovely bathrooms on the property. According to the media, O'Neill disposed of the property in 2004 for $6.4 million, but the most recent sale record for the mansion was $9 million. His main home in the state of Florida, on the other hand, is a seaside mansion in the Windermere area, which has around 35,000 square feet of living space. The huge, classic-style property is worthy of a big star like Shaquille, with no less than 12 suites and 15 spacious bathrooms. Other amenities include a social bar, a large home theater, a wine cellar, a garage for 17 vehicles and, of course, a 6,000-square-foot indoor basketball court. One of the most eye-catching details of this house is undoubtedly its decoration, with the S logo emblazoned across several rooms. To live here, O'Neill had to invest a veritable fortune. According to some sources, Shaquille built this property completely from scratch when he bought the land in 1993 for a whopping $4 million. After living there for many years, he decided to get rid of his dream mansion for $11 million but initially asked for $28 million. Currently, O'Neill also owns several properties, such as an alleged apartment in Los Angeles, bought in 2000 for $654,000. In Georgia, he has a charming house in McDonough, in the city of Atlanta, situated on a 15-acre plot. Built in 2007, the classically designed house has more than 8,600 square feet of space, containing a living room with a piano, a dining area with a chandelier, and a kitchen with a center island. 
There's also a home office, a games room, a gym and a cinema with 12 seats, not to mention 5 bedrooms and 6 and a half bathrooms. Heading outside, there's plenty of space to enjoy the pleasant weather and relax by the pool, and the property even has a guest house. As reported by some portals, O'Neill acquired this property in 2017 for a whopping $1.15 million. In addition to this property, it is speculated that he has at least two other properties in Georgia, such as a house worth $387,500 and a mansion that he bought for $1,125,000. Moving to the state of Texas, Shaquille O'Neal acquired a beautiful residence in the city of Carrollton in 2022. Built in 2005, the house has more than 5,200 square feet of interior space, and among its main ambiences are a living room well lit by natural light, a wood-paneled office, a formal dining room, a kitchen with stainless steel appliances, a residential laundry room, a space to exercise and a media room with a state-of-the-art projection system. As for the number of bedrooms, there are five to accommodate the owners in comfort, as well as six beautiful bathrooms with a clean design. Heading outside, there are great shaded spaces to relax, as well as a rock pool with a waterfall and integrated spa. According to the media, the former player had to spend around $1,220 million on the property. Another property that Shaquille currently owns is a residence in the city of Las Vegas, in the U.S. state of Nevada. It's a house of almost 6,000 square feet, situated in a quiet area, perfect for someone as famous as O'Neal to live in peace. Inside, you can see the predominance of neutral, soft colors that bring a sense of lightness to any room. There is, for example, an entrance hall with an imposing staircase, a formal living room for visitors, a very spacious kitchen for preparing meals, and a dining room with views of the garden. There is also a family room with a curvaceous sofa and five graceful bedrooms, including a master suite with a luxurious bathroom, not forgetting the balconies for enjoying the views or simply relaxing. Outside, the house is set on 1.12 acres of land, with a dining area, landscaped gardens, a beautiful swimming pool with spa and even a golf course. According to the media, he paid almost $2 million for the house. Raising the price further, Shaquille O'Neal also currently owns a mansion in the Davie area, in the U.S. state of Florida. The contemporary-style property is over 9,000 square feet in size, boasting white marble floors and floor-to-ceiling windows that bring an abundance of natural light inside. Its main amenities include living room with television and fireplace, dining room with glass table, seven large suites, seven luxurious bathrooms, laundry room with granite worktops, home theater for seven people, and a kitchen with customized cabinets. Moving on to the outside space, the player's mansion is situated on a 35,200-square-foot plot of land that is surrounded by verdant lawns, where there is a resort-style swimming pool with a beautiful jacuzzi included. On top of all this, there is an equally cozy guest house for the player's visits. And to acquire this property, Shaquille O'Neal had to spend a lot of money. According to some sources, the mansion cost him more than $2.6 million. In addition to all these properties, he is believed to own a penthouse at 50 Rector Park, a building in Newark that is part of one of his ventures. Although it's not known how much his unit is worth, the price of the building is estimated at $80 million. LeBron James, for his part, owns a 32,000-square-foot mansion in Ohio valued at around $9.5 million. Raising the price further, LeBron James once owned a beautiful lakefront mansion in Miami in the state of Florida. The interior of the mansion has a color palette of light tones on the walls that matches the darker color of the wood. In all, the house has six spacious bedrooms and eight beautiful bathrooms, counting with a few treats, such as a cinema with comfortable armchairs and a bodybuilding gym. Outside, there is a luxurious pool that at night is surrounded by colored LEDs at night in addition to having a dock to store up to two yachts. And according to media reports, the basketball player has decided to sell the mansion in 2021 for about $12,750,000. Going even more expensive, the NBA star also once owned a half-acre estate in Los Angeles, California. Inside, the rooms are very spacious, with a total constructed area of about 9,500 square feet, divided into six bedrooms and eight bathrooms, all with jacuzzis. Outside, the grass is very green, and there is a large Olympic swimming pool with a wooden deck. 
and according to media reports, the player purchased the house in 2015 paying $21 million, but decided to sell it in 2021 at a loss of $19,600,000. Still in California, LeBron James owns another property located on one of the most noble streets of Los Angeles. The interior of the residence is quite sophisticated, being built with top-of-the-line materials. The kitchen, for example, features natural French oak and marble countertops from Spain. In total the property is about 9,500 square feet, being divided into 8 bedrooms and 11 luxurious marble-covered bathrooms. In addition, the mansion also offers other spoils for the player, such as a game room, a complete gym, and a cinema. And to acquire this beautiful mansion, the player needed to disburse in 2017 about $23 million. Although LeBron has more expensive properties, O'Neal has a much larger real estate portfolio, so points for both. Business Both stars are also great businessmen, but which one stands out more in the business world? Off the court, for example, O'Neal has a significant impact on the audiovisual industry. In the cinema, he has appeared in films such as Blue Chips, Kazam and Steel, while in the game's business, he has appeared in NBA Jam, Shaq Fu, among others. On television, Shaquille O'Neal has appeared in series such as Curb Your Enthusiasm and The Parkers. The player has become a great presenter, taking part in programs such as Shaq's Big Challenge and Inside the NBA. Shaquille O'Neal has also dedicated himself to the music business, not only releasing four hip-hop albums in the 90s but also investing in a DJ career under the stage name Diesel to this day. Another sport in which the basketballer got involved was wrestling, making several television appearances that must surely have generated good profits for him. In the property sector, Shaquille has teamed up with Bore Development to develop projects in New Jersey, including 50, Rector Park, a residential skyscraper opening in 2019. When it comes to franchise companies, he also invests heavily, co-owning ventures such as the Big Chicken Sandwich brand, at least one Krispy Kreme unit, 17 Auntie Anne's restaurants, 40 fitness centers, and up to 155 Five Guys restaurants. When it comes to stock investments, Shaquille also knows how to multiply his assets, owning stakes in companies such as Google, General Electric, Apple, PepsiCo, and NRG Sports. And to give you an idea of how much he profits from these types of deals, in 2013 he paid $5 million for 1% of the Sacramento Kings team, and sold it in the following years for $11 million. In 2019, he joined the board of directors of Papa John's, earning him $8.25 million over three years. In addition to all these sources of income, the former player also earns a lot of money through advertising deals. Among the main brands he has appeared in commercials for are Reebok, Epson, Frosted Flakes, among others. And with all this, we can say that Shaquille O'Neal is also a businessman. LeBron James, for his part, has investments in the gastronomic sector, owning 19 franchises of the Blaze Pizza chain of pizzerias. He is also a partner in Beats Electronics, a headphone and audio equipment company owned by Apple. However, in the world of sports, he has stakes in Liverpool, one of England's biggest football teams. LeBron James is also a partner in Ladder, a sports supplementation company created in partnership with other celebrities like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he even owns a film production company, having founded Spring Hill Company, a company that produced and released in 2021 his new film called Space Jam, A New Legacy. This is all without counting all the money he receives from being a poster boy for various famous companies. To get an idea of how well-known LeBron James is in the media, he is by far the most famous basketball player on social networks, having for example more than 150 million followers on his Instagram alone. And it is for all this fame that he has been featured in campaigns for brands like Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and Sprite, among many others. But without a doubt his biggest contract is with Nike, a company with which he signed a lifetime contract, guaranteeing him a multi-million dollar salary for the rest of his life. And because it's difficult to determine how much they profit from each business, we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both! Net Worth Everyone knows that the two basketball legends have amassed huge fortunes over the course of their careers. But who will be the richest? Starting with Shaquille O'Neal. 
For many years, his main source of income came from professional basketball, and as with other players, the amount he earned increased as he progressed as an athlete. To give you an idea, in his first NBA contract with the Orlando Magic, Shaquille O'Neal earned $3 million, and his highest salary at the club was $5.7 million in the 1995 season. Now playing for his second team, the Los Angeles Lakers, Shaquille started out earning more than $10.7 million a year, but in the following years, that figure exceeded $24.7 million in a single season. But the biggest salary the basketball star earned was certainly playing for the Miami Heat in 2004 when he pocketed more than $27.6 million. After that, his annual salary stayed in the $20 million range until his last season on the court. In all, it is estimated that the star earned more than $292 million in 19 years in the NBA, a figure that, although impressive, is not all the money he has ever received. That's because Shaquille O'Neal has many business ventures and advertising deals that raise his income considerably. To give you an idea, according to Celebrity Net Worth, today the star earns around $60 million a year, and over all these years he has pocketed around $200 million gross from sponsorships. And although nobody knows for sure how much fortune Shaquille O'Neal has amassed during his career, some sources estimate that he currently has a net worth of $400 million. LeBron James is not far behind. He is the highest paid basketball player in the world for the eighth consecutive year, as well as being named the fifth highest earning athlete of all sports in the year of 2020. As a Los Angeles Lakers player alone, receives a super salary of $41,200,000. And while it's a huge amount, it's still far from being his biggest source of income. That's because it's estimated he probably makes more than $70 million off the court, mainly from his advertising contracts. To get an idea, in just his lifetime contract with Nike alone, he receives approximately $30 million per year. And it's no wonder that according to Forbes magazine, the NBA star currently has a net worth of over $1 billion. So it's clear that LeBron James wins this round. At the end of this fight we had 4 points for Shaquille O'Neal against 5 points for LeBron James, making him the winner of this battle. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.